What up, you YouTube? It's your boy TNT H A Z O, Mr. Play Keys, Mr. You on some shit, young yeah, man. I'm back with another video. Today, man, I haven't done a story time in a long time. Well, y'all seen the title, yo. This is the worst two man ever. And I'm not even gonna lie to you. This shit ha happened last night. And I had to wake up this morning and tell it all because that shit was preposterous, bro. Like, we just gonna get straight into it, man. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all follow the page. Make sure y'all don't do what we did last night. So long story short, man, I'm at the bar last night, man. I get a text message from Shorty. Well, I'm gonna put the text message right here. She's like, yeah. Um, what you doing tonight? You feel me? Me and my cousins trying to get drunk, shake some ass. You got some homeboys. <laughs> Baby, one thing I always got is homeboys and some motherfucking liquor. What you trying to do? You know, this shake ass central. You feel me? Come on, let's dance. <laughs> let's dance. You feel me? Come express yourself. You feel me? Like, so in my mind, I'm like, shit, we got one. You feel me? It's Sunday night. We go vibe by. We go have a little bit of fun. Let's, let's get into it. So, boom, this is the first red flag that started throwing me off, straight to it. She texted me at 9.30. I don't know if it was exactly 9.30, but it was early for real. She texted me early. We at the bar, you feel me? I'm like, all right, boom, you feel me? By the time we leave the bar, she will be ready, bro. We leave the bar like 11 o'clock, you feel me? All right, boom. By the time, you feel me, I get more drinks into me and I smoke a little bit. Me and my man starting to feel like, ah, right, it's time to go to bed, you feel me? Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, dummy. I'm old. I'm ready to be 26. Once I start getting a little bit of liquor in my system and the sun goes down and I don't have no guaranteed twats to go land, only thing I feel like landing is my damn bed. So, I was trying to give baby the benefit of the doubt because I'm like, alright, you feel me? Like, you feel me? It's late. You feel me? Trying to come over. Granted, when you come over, you feel me, I don't make it, like, necessarily, you feel me, like a, you know, like, you gotta fuck, but, you feel me, ain't nothing open past fucking 12 o'clock, but legs and royal farms, you know what I mean? So, I'm like, alright, boom, get back to the crib, my one man, he say he not fucking with it, he tired, boom, he go home. So, you feel me, I call my other two mans, I'm like, bro, blah, blah. Need a backup. So they boom, they come in, you feel me? Well, they wasn't really the backup. They was already initially in the plan, you feel me? But my one man's dropped off, you feel me? Boom, cool. So, excuse me. Mm. So, blah, blah, blah. So it get worse and worse. I mean, she texts me like, yeah, I live on this side of town. My homegirl's on the other side of town. Cool, you feel me? That ain't nothing, you feel me? Because the one man's coming from the same side of town. I'm like, boom, so what we gonna do is, you feel me? I'm gonna call you a Uber to my drunk, you feel me? And then my man's will go pick up your homegirls from me straight to it. She like, cool, cool, cool. Boom. Dummy, it takes me 30 fucking minutes to get this fucking Addy from the bitch. And as time keeps progressing on, I keep saying, bro, Unk is tired. Unk trying to go to sleep, bro. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not one of them niggas that go to sit and wait up, bro. Like, my bed is comfortable as shit. You feel me? I got a nice size bed. I got a nice thick mattress pad on it. After a nice hot shower, boy, that's like some good sleep. You feel me? So I'm like, shit, fuck it. I'm ready to go lay down. My man's calling me like, bro, I'm ready to go get him. Blah, blah, cool. Dummy, I asked. She sent an address. She sends me two addresses. I said, okay. Hmm. Two addresses. She said, yeah. My one homegirl live right here, but the other homegirl lives right here. They're only five minutes away. I'm sorry, when black people say five minutes away, that doesn't mean five minutes away. So me being me, as a smart young man, I sit there, I go put the addresses in. Bada boom, bada bang, you see right here? They say, sorry, there's a lot of nigga tree going outside. I don't know why there's dirt bikes going on in Baltimore at um, 11.54 in the morning. But that's what happens in Baltimore. Gunshots, police sirens, and dirt bikes early in the morning. But like I was saying, man. As you can see, that shit is about 15 minutes apart. So I'm like, yeah, this is not Uber share. We're not adding a stop. You feel me? One destination. So I'd be nice. You feel me? The young lady, she lived close to me. I said, I'm going to call you an Uber. You feel me? To my joint. 
Uber only like, you feel me, $10. Cool. Not trip about it, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, you feel me? I'm the type of person, you feel me? I want everybody to come, feel safe, have fun. Boom. So, I don't know what these women look like. And I'm going to be honest with you, after last night, whenever women start texting someone something, they want to link up and all that for real, you have to start sending photos. I need to start an interview process, okay? I'm going to start asking, okay, each homegirl send a photo, send their um, relationship status, um, what side of town they're from, if they have kids, if they have any bodies, and most importantly, are they coming to suck and fuck? Or they're coming to just have a good time. Just so we can, you know, know what the vibe is prior to it. We're not going to rush out into the motion of sucking and fucking. But we know what the end goal is, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, like I said, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, baby. And um, I'm not just having people in my house at 2 o'clock in the morning just to sit and socialize. That's what Panera Bread is for. We can go in the morning and get some nice crumpets and a nice acai, you know, Nice little refresh or something, but all that coming over at 2 o'clock in the morning just to sit and stare in each other's faces. Fuck all that, I can look in the mirror in my sexy ass face. Now back to the story, dummy. The one homegirl, my, my man's go grab the one joint for real. This is the joint I'm texting for real. Boom, cool. He texts, she walk in. I look, I had to double take because I'm like, bro, this is not the same girl I booked. Oh no, no. This, this, this can't be last week but then i'm sitting and thinking like i'm like all right maybe it is the same girl i booked last week you feel me because i was drunk and we were i did book her at a park it was like we went to the lake and it was dark so maybe i didn't see her full face so that was like one right there so bro act, I don't, ask yourself i'm gonna give you five seconds to think comment below what y'all think she fucking asked me as soon as you walked in the house all right boom five seconds over this girl says Pulls out her phone. Can I get the Wi-Fi? What do you think this is? This is this is not Walmart. This is not McDonald's. This is not your um, public library. You talking about can you get some Wi-Fi? I said, why do you need Wi-Fi? Oh, because my phone is off and um, I need to text my homegirls and make sure they're straight. Women mishandle two things in life, and they start with peas. Their pussy and their priorities. Why are you worried about coming to shake ass and drink with me, and you need the Wi-Fi? Now, what if I was a fucking disrespectful type of nigga? What if I was fucked up and didn't have no Wi-Fi? Your ass would have been sitting over here with no Wi-Fi, no phone. Your phone rate, her phone rate died. She asked for the Wi-Fi and the charger. So you come over with no Wi-Fi and no charger. Okay, I'd be nice give it a charger, boom. Now, her homegirl that I called Uber for come over, you feel me? She come in. So, before I even let her in the house, I walk on the porch. Shorty gets out the car. When Shorty got out the car, I had straight text her, um, my cousin. I said, um, brother, this is not going to work. She, um, this is not. I, I already told him. I said, I told him up front, like, I'm gonna show y'all the message. Like, I just told y'all up front, like this, this is this is not it, bro. This is not it. Like I can see it's gonna go bad. Like it's, I'm like it's gonna go bad, bro. And it's three strikes in baseball, and we're about at the fifth strike for real. So, um, yeah. So I'm like, all right, boom. So we sit and chopping up. I'm waiting for my other man to come with the other homegirls. Boom. The one girl that I'm texting, you feel me? She's like, yeah, let's drink. Blah blah. I'm like, all right, cool. Because in my head, I said, dummy, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to have to keep drinking and enjoy my night. It got to the point that night, dummy, I would kept drinking and kept drinking so I could hallucinate a bad bitch. Like, I really was trying to get liquid courage to fuck or, like, just be cool with the vibe, dummy. Because I was at the point, I'm ready to tell everybody get the fuck out so I can go upstairs go to sleep. So, boom, you feel me? Like, my man's coming with the two other joints. Bro, this nigga text me, Hazel, you owe up. When he texted me that, I said, bro. If these two joints walk in the door and they got busted, bro. And when I say busted, I'm not talking about drunk. I'm talking about busted like bullshit, bro. I'm going to have a conniption. Dumb. These two joints walked in. No, my man's walked in first and just with his head down. I said, bro, I know it's bad. The two joints walked in behind him and I said. Oh, fuck.
I wish I could tell y'all I was on my mind right now, but y'all gonna think I'm mean. This is, there is no way this is going on, bro. Like, no. So, fast forward, we get to playing the game. We playing the game. So, the one joy, she rolling up, and I told her respectfully, I'm like, yo, if you go to smoke, you gotta go in the basement for real. Or, you know, you can go upstairs. Boom. So, she go, she like, all right. But I'm being funny with you. I know, if y'all know me, I know I joke a lot for real. So, I'm joking with her. I'm like, yeah, um. I got cameras around when we go upstairs and smoke for real. Make sure you don't steal nothing because you're going to be on camera. But I'm joking with it for real. She like, boy, I don't fucking steal. I'm going to just go sit outside because ain't nobody better accuse me of stealing. Blah, blah, blah. Well, baby, listen. You don't got to project on me. You tell me something. Yeah, I just went through that. A bitch stole, some, stole the iPhone from the nigga house we was over. And now, oh, everybody think I'm a thief. So you don't steal, but but somebody that was with you stole an iPhone. Let me make sure I got both of mine. I got both mine right here, baby. But I'm just saying, like, um, if you're a thief, you're a thief. You feel me? Live your truth. Just don't steal from me. You feel me? We cut fingers over here, mafia style. You know what I mean? So boom, we 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 get to going. They smoke. Everybody coming. We start playing the game. Game going good. We having fun. Blah blah blah. So they like um. I want to shake some ass. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we get into it, y'all. I mean, we get into it. They ready to shake some ass. Like, fuck it. They not my cup of tea, but you know, we go add a little sugar to it and sweeten that motherfucker up and have a ball tonight. <laughs> they asked them to play some motherfucking me. I said, what y'all want to hear? Them niggas said, BC Tay. Now, Tay, I fuck with your music, brother. This is not a sneak diss to you. But. Did we invite No Lemon Soldiers over here? Like, um, what is going on? Uh, most joints want to say, you know, let's listen to some sexy red. This and that, this and that. So I played my man's BCT, you feel me? My, my, yeah. All right. You think all night get tipsy. You feel me? That's how I was feeling. I said, hold the bitch, you know, you think all night get tipsy. You know what I mean? You feel me? I'm like, all right, boy, they ain't get tipsy. Oh, ain't that getting, I get tipsy. Bro. These bitches ain't shake an ounce of ass. So they like, yeah, let's go sit in the basement. I'm like, cool, we go sit in the basement, down, bring the speaker down, you feel me? Because my brother, he got work in the morning, so he sleep. I'm like, let's go downstairs so you don't wake him up. This is where it gets bad, brother. I think we go keep the twerking and, you know, ass shaking going on. I mean, these motherfuckers said, did y'all know I could rap? Does this look like XXL? Is this on the radio? Like, um, this is, I am not, um, Sony. I'm not QC. I'm not a manager. And here go my fucking homeboy. He's a dickhead. My homeboy, he's motherfucking enabling this behavior. He said, oh, yeah, rap, rap for me. You feel me? I'm a manager. Brother, when the fuck have you ever managed an artist? He said, yeah, bro. But now, granted, bro got the connections. and not going to hold him there. But why the fuck are you en enabling this fucking behavior? It's 3 a.m. in the morning. I am not trying to hear anybody rap. The only thing I'm trying to hear is some coochie beatbox. You talking about some motherfucking, yeah, let's hear you rap, put on the beat. Baby, what I'm about to do is wrap this shit up. And get y'all the fuck up out of here so I can go to sleep. So, bro, we get the... Matter of fact, I'm not even going to tell y'all that part. Roll the clip. Boom, as you can see, they get the rapping and shit. Bro, I'm at the point where I'm on the other end of the thing, of the other end of the basement, and I'm like, yo, fuck this. So the other shorty, she like, she like, yeah, come upstairs with me real quick. Uh, blah. So I'm like, all right, boom, you feel me? Like, niggas drunk to the point, all right. I'm not a nigga that's gonna sugarcoat nothing, bro. Everybody didn't hit a uh, hit a bitch they would never hit before because they was drunk. You feel me? It was just something deep. If you did it, props out to you. You got more self control than me. But I'm like, all right, boom. I'm leaving here with something. She came over here. You feel me? She's not. She's not the baddest joint, but she's not ass either. You feel me? Like she hittable. You feel me? Like she the type drunk I'ma hit because I'm drunk. Get my nut, and then I'm gonna regret when I sober up in the morning. You feel me? I already knew what it was, but I'm like, fuck it. You know, let's. They came over here for something. Let's go give it to them. Let's give them what they want. Dummy. 
Mind you, I was raised by women. I respect women, bro. This girl, bro, goes in the bathroom. All I hear is, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my God. What the fuck? Did that bitch shit? Like, what the fuck going on, dummy? I thought she I thought I had roaches or something. The way the bitch was screaming, dummy. Bro, this girl said, come here. I'm like, what? She said, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I'm like, what's going on? You know, you feel me? Like, what's going on? Talk to me. She said, I just came on. I hope you're not mad. In my head, dummy, yo, I was so glad. I said, look at God. Mother Nature. I ain't never been so happy to see a period dummy other than the last time. I know that in the bitch world she was talking about was that she ain't know it was, it was if her friend was coming to visit her. But I'm happy that her fuck motherfucking friend came to visit her tonight. That was the friend she should have bought in the door with her. Because when she would have bought the friend in the door with her, dummy, we could have ended this shit early. I would have been in bed about, about cool 12, 15, 12, 30. You know what I mean? <laughs> Boom. She looks at me, serious as hell. Do you have any tampons or pads? Ma'am, as a female, first. And my good brother Chris made a tweet the other day. He said, women are not like the women back in the day. Y'all don't have no medicine, no baby oil, no lotion inside your bags. All y'all got is weed, sheets, and funnel. And that's it, and lip gloss. Why, as a woman, you should know when your period is coming. Why don't you have any pads, tampons, any women necessities that you need for, you know, your physical area, you feel me? Because I know a lot of women that don't be on their period just carry around a tampon just in case their homegirl come on or something, you feel me? I feel like that's like niggas that carry around, you feel me, a mother, like, carry around condoms. I feel like you got to be prepared for all situations. So that was like the 13th red flag. So at that point, bro, I texted Gucci, I said, yo, show you on a period, it's time to wrap it up. Let's get the fuck up out of here. Everybody, it's time for y'all to go. So, boom. My man, she wrapping it up. He like, boom, blah, blah. So I'm still being nice, just making sure she's good. You feel me? I'm giving some shorts because she didn't have no short, like no underwear on. You feel me? So like, I'm still being respectful and shit. You feel me? Like, so I go grab some compression shorts, gave it to her. You feel me? So she don't bleed through her actual shorts that she had on for real. So I'm like, all right, cool, blah, blah. Feel me? In all seriousness, bro, she looks at me and say, "So I'm leaving. I wanted to stay with you." <laughs> Why the fuck do you think you're staying with me and you just came on your period? This is our first time on the up, baby. I'm, I'm a gentleman and respectful, but I'm also, I'm not ready to make this uh, ongoing thing. Like, I'm not even ready to text back. Like, this shit is done. You feel me? Like, I ain't tell her that, but I'm like, yo, you're not. No, like, what? Sure, you're not ready to lay in my bed while you're on your period. You don't have no tampons, no pads. You think you better lay in my bed bleeding? That shit is dead, dummy. So, boom, like, they leaving out. She like, I want to stay because even though I'm out of my period, I, I could do something else. At that point, bro, I don't even want to do nothing else. I don't want to do shit but sleep, bro. I don't want nobody near me. So, I tell my man, drop her off, drop the other homegirls off, boom. She like, so what you doing tomorrow? I said, oh, I got to work in the morning for her. She said, oh, so what you doing after work? I said, oh, I got to go to my other job after I get off of work. You ain't got no job, man. She like, so when I'm going to see you, I said, I'm going to let you know. I'm not letting her know a damn thing, brother. So all in all, bro, like, this shit was, like, horrendous, bro. So from now on, yo, if you ever want to link with the game, we need um to go through the interview process. We will put everybody on a... 30-second FaceTime call with all potential candidates. I'm going to put my men on, you feel me, the group FaceTime call. And we're going to see if we vibe through that FaceTime call, you feel me. We're going to ask a couple questions, a couple icebreaker questions. If y'all don't pass the test, sorry, we're going to go on to the next contestants. But, baby girl, if you're watching this, I hope you found the man for you. But, respectfully, we will not be linking again. This is your boy TNT H A Z O, Mr. Play Peace, Mr. You on some shit, young man. And please don't do the fuck I did. <laughs> We're out.